Once we'd completed Amy's bucket list item of seeing glowworms, it was time to move on to our next big New Zealand road trip adventure, the Tongariro Alpine Crossing, also known as Hiking Mount Doom. We had a few stops to make along the way, including a warm-up hike at Monganui outside Taranga with its beautiful beaches and views of the ocean. We also spent a day exploring the Waiu Tapu Thermal Wonderland, which was complete with a geyser by the name of Lady Knox, set off to erupt for all of us tourists. We also got to see steaming lakes, sulfur ponds, and even some boiling mud. We needed a full day to hike the Tongariro Crossing, so we drove down to the small town of Tarangi the night before and set our alarms for way too early in the morning. David's focused on driving, but it is almost 7 o'clock in the morning. It is 8 degrees Celsius outside, and we are headed... He has a bright idea. I have a fantastic idea. Um, we are going to go hike the Tongariro Crossing, and um, that is a all-day hike. We are expecting to take between five and eight hours. Um, we've got food, sunscreen, jackets, hats, sunglasses, all kinds of good stuff. We are ready to go all day. It was absolutely gorgeous out, with blue skies and not a cloud in sight. There wasn't a whole lot of traffic on the roads, but we soon encountered a few other crazies headed in the same direction. We thought we'd gotten to the shuttle pickup fairly early, but as evidenced by the long line of cars already parked, we arrived at our usual state, just in the nick of time. So here's the plan this morning. We have parked the car. We are walking up our first hill, I'm sure would be one of many headed to the bus, which will take us to the start, because after walking, how many kilometers is this? 17, 18 kilometers. 17 or 18 kilometers. No way I want to hike back to get back to the car. So there's a shuttle that'll take us to the start. This is the finish. Let's see how this goes. Hi. Hi, you got a voucher on you? Yep. Tony voucher does. Give you a map H, and that's your bus there. Great, thank Have you very All right, we've made it to the bus. Not sure yet if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Tell me a little bit more He's about so that. excited. Tell me a little bit more about what we're doing. Um, um, Name first. Tangariro Alpine Crossing. All right. Yeah. New Zealand's best one day hike. Supposedly Lonely Planet's best day hike in the world. 17, 18 kilometers, we think. Yep. Anywhere from five to eight hours, depending on who you believe. Stellar views. Stellar views. This is the official Mount Doom, so we're keeping an eye out for Frodo and Sam. And the One Ring. Are you Frodo? No, I'm my Frodo. <laughs> no. I think I'm going to get in trouble for answering this question. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> The correct answer is, oh, sweetie, you're not a hobbit at all. But we call you short stack. <laughs> short stack is a term of endearment that even Amy has started using, so I didn't get into too much trouble. The bus ride was nice and easy, and definitely faster than the hike that followed, especially since we quickly discovered that we were underestimating the distance we had to walk. What time is it? 8.23. 8.23, and we've got 19.4, not 17, not 18, 19.4 kilometers to go. But hey, we have 13 hours of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> so 
so we could get on our knees and crawl if we needed to, basically. <laughs> Hopefully it won't come to that. The start of the hike is all flat ground, which was a great way to get warmed up, but was most definitely not an indicator of things to come. We really lucked out with the great weather for the hike. If the weather is bad, the path can be treacherous, so I think quite a few people are waiting to take advantage of the nice day. It sure felt like there were a lot of people out hiking with us. It wasn't too long before we spotted one of the things I was most excited to see in all of New Zealand. Hey, you. Oh, hi. So what mountain is this? I don't know. It's gorgeous. I think this is the one that's Mount Doom, but it's got a real name. Um, uh, its real name is Mount Doom. No. I mean, come on now. False. Absolutely gorgeous, but we are not hiking up there. Hiking up to the top of Mount Doom would have added three plus hours, which was just a bit too much. However, even gazing at it did make us start thinking about hobbits. So maybe he's just informed me <laughs> that there is a song stuck in her head. Thank you, Thomas. The Here hobbits are going to eyes and God. To eyes and God. <laughs> That's it? That's all we get? That's all you get. To eyes and God. Once that song is in your head, it's impossible to get out. And I'll admit to a few moments of spontaneous singing during the rest of the day. After a stop the toilet, as they say in New Zealand, we're taking a little bit of a detour off to the soda springs. A detour to the Soda Springs was a much shorter alternative than hiking Mount Doom, and it was a perfect mid-morning break. Masterfully done. Snack time now. Got some trail mix, aka Gorp. Got the beautiful waterfall. Nice little morning so far. We got the first of our stellar views looking back at the way we came, and when the break was over, it was back to the path to start the quote-unquote fun portion of the hike. Back on the main path, up we go. So I start wondering, why am I out of breath and sweating? And then I look down at how far up we've come. It looked like we'd come a long ways, but in reality, we had just barely gotten started. Well, we keep climbing and climbing and climbing, but I think we can finally see the summit. Right there. Just have to go. <laughs> Oh, all the way up that way. It's, it's 11 o'clock. We're doing good. Making progress. Making good progress. Should finish before dark. <laughs> dark is 9.30, so I would hope so. <laughs> we hiked up a bit further, only to find my hopes were in vain. So it looks like I was wrong. We still have more to climb. This isn't quite the summit yet, but... Look at the view behind me, like, it is absolutely stunning. We are up above the clouds already. It's pretty damn awesome. It was almost like Tongariro knew we needed a bit of a breather, as there was some flat land before the next big incline. We got more stellar views of Mount Doom, though there was still no sign of Frodo and Sam, or the One Ring. But I was pretty distracted anyways, as everything was so rocky, and the soil looked so red that it felt like we were hiking on Mars. Of course, all good flatland comes to an end, and it was soon back to climbing. We didn't realize yet just how good we'd had it so far, 
as this portion was mostly loose rocks compared to the cutout stairs for the first part of the day. Well, we're not quite at the summit yet, but it's lunchtime. Yes, it is 10 till noon. So we've been hiking for three hours and 20 minutes. Doing pretty well so far. What do you have for lunch today? Sandwiches. Sandwiches. A little bit of, what would you call it, hot pork? Hot pork sandwich, yeah. Never heard of that before, but don't worry. It's got tasty cheese on it. I almost just fell down the mountain. When Tasty's in the name, you know it's going to be good. True. Tasty cheese is cheddar for kiwis. Yeah. What a country. <laughs> the afternoon was by far the most grueling part of the day, and there was lots of slipping and sliding as people tried to find good footholds. Okay, so we're not quite halfway. Behind you is the summit, right? I think so. I think so. I think so. And to encourage us to get there, that is absolutely stunning. I think Amy was a bit tired of all my hoping that we'd finally reach the summit, but this time, it was the real deal. I think we made it up to the top of something. I'm surprised it's not a sign, but I think we are downhill from here. <laughs> Fingers crossed. We took a bit of time to just take it all in, and I particularly enjoyed watching the clouds trying to roll in between the peaks. However, as we're quite fond of saying, what goes up must come down and this hike down was particularly difficult. And down I go. One of us has to do it. <sighs> Amy certainly wasn't the only one to slip but we considered ourselves fortunate that that was the worst of it, and we didn't end up somersaulting down the mountain. We managed to escape the descent with only a few bruises, and even those seemed like they were quickly forgotten as soon as we came across the next stellar view. So it seems like every time we come down a ridge or turn a corner, there's like something even more amazing that we're coming up to. Like, what is, what is this called back here? The Emerald Lakes. The Emerald Lakes. Absolutely beautiful, but it smells like sulfur, so bleh. Such a complainer. <laughs> Clearly. What you doing, babe? Well, after that big descent, I need to de rockify the shoes. There's a ton of crap they got in there. Looking back at the summit, we could see the long line of people still making their way down. We weren't quite finished with our descent yet, but the hard part was over, as this ground offered more solid footing. The descent gave way to another flat Martian landscape, but my weary legs were disappointed to see another hill to climb in the distance. Well, we thought we were done with this going up, 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 but apparently just a bit more, maybe. As you can probably tell, climbing up isn't my favorite activity ever, but this time we found ourselves with our heads literally in the clouds. So all those clouds we saw earlier rolling over the blue lake, we are walking into them. The clouds made it feel like we were officially wandering through the mists of Mordor, and I felt a strange kinship with Frodo and Sam in that it felt like we had been walking forever, but weren't all that close to the end yet. 
Well, since we passed the 10 kilometers remaining, or 10 kilometers completed sign, that means we are officially over halfway with the distance, even though we are now well over halfway in terms of time. So I'm hoping that means that the last, is it 9.4, doesn't have quite as many hills. A little bit flatter so far. We've been hiking for almost seven hours now. Still a little over an hour to go. Not gonna lie, a little bit tired, but this has just been an incredible hike. So many beautiful different landscapes, the lakes, seeing Mount Doom. It'll be a hike to remember for sure. My enthusiasm would have been a bit dampened if there had been more hills still in front of us. But instead, we crossed a few streams, walked on solid paths, went through the woods, and suddenly emerged at the finish. Tired, but thrilled we completed the hike. Well, we just finished the walk, the hike, the expedition excursion. Tangarero Alpine Crossing. Yeah, if you want to give it its actual name. What'd you think? It's good, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Tamanivi in Fiji, you tried hard, but New Zealand, one up in you. <laughs> Took us almost exactly eight hours. Eight hours. Oh, that's a lot of walking for two people who are used to going 44 feet on a boat. <laughs> So uh, what advice would you give to people if they wanted to come to New Zealand and try this out? Hill training. Yeah. Go climb some stairs. A lot. A lot of stairs. <laughs> that would be good. But then come to New Zealand and do the hike because that was freaking phenomenal. We didn't find Frodo though. That was a little disappointing. No one ring. I think yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> yeah, the world's probably better off. Hey everyone, sorry this video is coming to you just a little bit late, but as you can see all around us, there's a lot of blue, because we're in the middle of the Pacific right now. Yes, we are helping sail sailing vessel Julia, another Helia, from Portland, Oregon to Hawaii. And we're about 400 miles from Hawaii. And the Iridium Go upload speeds just does not cut it for YouTube. So, sorry for the delay, but as soon as we get to land, this is going up, so. Uh, if you like the video, please give us, a, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you do not know what Hobbit song we were referring to, check down below in the description. I'll have a link there, you can go check it out and laugh for days. Uh, and then come back in about a week and a half, hopefully our next video will be up. It'll be two Americans trying to learn about rugby in New Zealand. Watching a rugby game. Watching rugby games, going to museums, having all kinds of good times. So. Come back, check that out, and thanks for watching, everyone. <laughs>